Uh, our construction contractors, uh, Arciona and Fletchers, were excavating the foundations for the pier for the bridge flyover, which is going to go through this area. So they were excavating the foundation, came across the water. Here is what we've currently exposed of the, um, the tailnet. And you can see our team is just currently trying to remove a lot of the mud. Um, we've pumped out the water because every day it refloods with the tides. So at this stage we're just in the process of bringing it down. We're still at an early stage of trying to understand really what we have here. We know it's not finished. Um, we know what it looks like. And um, we've still got to work out how we're going to remove it and get it into conservation. We won't know. And we might never be able to work out, to be honest, exactly what sort of water it is. From the outside, Dillis has had a look at some of the, the wood cells, and it's, it is quite degraded. Um, but we don't know the condition right inside it yet. So, I mean, it, it can be removed and it, and it can be conserved. That's, that's really the main thing. Oh, look, this is huge for the agency. It's huge for Emmy. It's huge for every New Zealander, each and every one of them. I've been in the construction sector for over 35 years, and I've never seen anything like this in my career. 